back. Our friends from the Animal Protection League are here. They're from Anderson. They're telling us about their upcoming motorcycle ride fundraiser that you can actually be a part of. Welcome to Jenny Gossett and Jennifer Lindsay to tell us more. First though, ladies, who'd you bring with you today? This is Widget. Can you say hi, Widget? You took off your sunglasses, didn't you? They were epic oh, sunglasses, too. Shades there. Hi, Widget. Hi, Widget. Hi. What is this tea? Look at this. It's a Harley Davidson t-shirt. Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. yeah. For the yeah, upcoming that. motorcycle ride. Oh, that is amazing. Let's talk about this motorcycle ride and why you're doing it. Um, we are doing it for benefits for APL, for um, low-cost neutering, spading, for necessities that cannot be bought um, yeah. through their scholarships, their grants, or anything like that. They are in need of bleach, okay. household cleaners, uh, the throw blankets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All so, of blankets. Yes, anything and everything. You don't have to be a writer to come out and have fun with us. Yeah. You just can come out and celebrate and help raise money. Oh, that's great. Yeah, for those of the, uh, the viewers who are writers, though, and want to come on Absolutely. Out, what do they need to know? They can just come out to 2108 West Dewey Street in Anderson, Indiana. Nice. Or they can look on Indy Now and yeah. see the flyer. Sure. It's a $20 per bike yeah. to come out, and you can make a donation okay. if you like. We are in need of some sponsorships. We are in need of necessities for them, yeah. auction items, anything that you guys want to, to donate, more than welcome to. Yeah. That's great. Nice way to raise money. Yeah, absolutely. We want to put the spotlight on Widget here. Yes. Yeah. Can you tell us about this sweet guy? He is two and a half years old. He's a pit terrier mix. Okay. Um, he's just known as kind of the uh, greeter from Walmart um, at the shelter. He is known to, when people walk in, he'll... Uh, just kind of look up and tilt his head, and yeah. he's always one to say good night at the end of the night when Aww. we're closing up. So he's we're just seeing friendly some facts to about all. Him. Yeah, he yes. uh, apparently respects cats, but doesn't want to hang out with them. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about that. Does does Widget need other animals in the home? Would he be um, with kiddos? He's, he's he's actually a little little uh, shy with children. Okay. I think older children would be better. Um, but kitties, yeah, no kitties for this boy. No cats. Um, okay. But he's he's come a long way since he's been in the shelter and walks real nicely on a leash and yeah. he's just very friendly. He's That's very good. friendly. He's yeah. such a sweet boy. He is a sweet Love boy. boy. Yeah. He was he's actually wearing one. his sunglasses before this. He was. He was. I was he hoping was he would put them back on. He looked very, very yeah, good in you those. Look so very good sharp. in these widget. Oh yeah, you're gonna put the shades we'll back try. on. Oh. As we get the shades back on, yeah, let's remind everybody not only how they can participate in this event, but then if you can't, just in general, <laughs> how you can support Little our sweet friends like Widget. Yeah, absolutely. There he is, right there in his USA shirt. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, uh, and Widget's just one of so many animals that need yes. forever homes there at yes. ATL. Um, let's remind people again where they need to get information about that motorcycle fundraiser. Fundraiser. Uh, you can go on the APL website. You could go on the website here at the station, or you can um, phone anybody that has a flyer up in Anderson. Okay. There is a um, website on the flyer also. And I'm it's www.apl.org. That's great. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot of dogs that need home and cats. Yeah. Um, it's an open admission shelter, so. Okay. Uh, which basically means they take in a lot. Sure, yeah. yeah. Yes. Strays uh -huh. and um, owner surrenders and lots of doggies that need homes. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get Widget a home today. I, I'm sure there's someone out there who wants yes. to learn more. You can go to inapl.org or give them an, a call right there on the screen. Let's get this guy a home and come on out to that motorcycle uh, yes. ride fundraiser. Thank you ladies so Thank much for so being much here. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you, you bet. Widget Good job, Widget. Well. Widget. We're just, just Widget looking so, so good. Cool. Want to say bye-bye? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you ladies. very much. So much too. Well, it's time to talk fashion. So, yeah. yes, this yeah. is really exciting, this next segment, because we're going to give you a little behind-the-scenes look at how they get it done. So, Wazelle and Wajette are the owners of Stolf, and they have a new collection out right yeah. now. And it's just incredibly unique. Thank you both for being back with us. Hi. Yeah, welcome back. Doing wonderful. Oh my goodness. For those who aren't familiar with your brand and what you do, give us a little overview. Yep. Uh, so we are a fully plant-based clothing collection. Everything from the materials to the colors, 
the threads, yes. everything like that, um, and everything is designed, constructed, and dyed in-house by the two of us. That's great. That's amazing. How long have you guys been a duo, I mean, designing fashion, creating fashion together? Since 2015. Okay, all right, eight years nice. now. Congrats on a good run. And this is really an important topic. I know we're hearing more and more about it, but that's the mission, is that you want this fashion to be sustainable. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's our biggest thing. Uh, we wanna make sure that we're not leaving a trace when we're gone, or if the clothes end up somewhere like a landfill eventually, they can go back to the earth, they're from the earth, and it's really important for us. Yeah, and you make them look beautiful. So Thank you. you're gonna give Ryan and I a little Let's look at how do you it. do this. Yeah, so how do you make some of these prints and designs? Yep, so this collection specifically was the first time we've uh, delved into prints and patterns. Um, so we were doing our swatches for the colors and the leftover dye in the pot, I was like, I gotta figure out how to turn this into paint. Mm. Yes. So there's this process where you can kind of filter it down it starts out like this, and then it ends up like this. What is that? Um, wow. So this one's a sawdust from okay. the Osage orange tree. It's the that's heartwood. sawdust? Interesting. Oh my goodness, okay. okay. <laughs> so you can extract the color, and that's what makes the dye bath itself. But yeah. then one step further, you can separate the dye particles and pigment from the water, and that's what this is. Oh, wow. So wow. it's kind of involved. Um, this one is sassafras root. It actually smells like root beer, if you want to sniff oh, it. Oh, we, we absolutely <laughs> have yeah. to, yes. Yeah, that's what they used to make root beer at. It smells just like root yeah. beer. Yeah. I want to put some ice cream in that. There it is. <laughs> it's got a lot, nice little Ooh. kick to it. I, I like know, that. Right? I like yeah. that, yeah. And um, what are these over here? This one is the heartwood of the logwood tree, okay. and this is indigo. Indigo. Um, oh, that's so yeah. a beautiful color. Yep, so they're all right here as well. This this is the purple, this is the blue, Nice. the green is a combo of this one and this one, and this is our sassafras. That's so neat. Oh, can, that is can we, amazing. Can yeah. you teach us how you yeah. do it? Okay, yeah. let's do it. All right, here we go. All right. Um, so for his pattern, he's using Thank a you. stencil. Um, you can also just freehand it. Okay. I'm gonna show you the stripes, and he's gonna show you the stencils. All right, amazing. here we go. It and just goes. Going for the blue. I'm going blue. I'm gonna yeah. go purple then. All right, it All just right. sits right on the top of the fabric, and then as it dries, it soaks in. Yeah. This is so neat. And then I know the fabric itself, you guys find ways to make sure that's sustainable too. Yeah, so our fabric supplier um, is amazing. Uh, I love linen. And like the feel of it on the body feels amazing. Otherwise, we use um, a blend of cotton and hemp. But yeah, everything here today is just linen. It's soft, it wears well in the summer especially. Yeah. Yes, now you guys have also come a long way since launching. You've yes. got partnerships with some pretty big <laughs> names. What's That's going exciting. on? Um, so we recently had the opportunity to exhibit this collection in Saks Fifth Avenue. Wow! Saks Fifth Avenue. Yeah. Congrats! Isn't that amazing? Thank you. It's that on had the to third be a floor. Moment it was. <laughs> wow! Third floor at Saks. That's fun. Yeah, that's where yeah. you can check this out. We've got the information up on the screen there. And in general, if people want to check out the collection, you guys have several pieces that they can really we do. enjoy. Uh, it's on our website, stealth.co, and um, we have a size range XX small to 5X, which is super inclusive. Yeah. And just try and make sure anyone can have something. Yeah. Jill, how's your uh, purple flower going? Oh, that's so fun. It's nice. Shoot, you got a blue duck. I pulled a Billy Madison, yeah. and I'm like, I've never seen a blue duck, so I wanted to make one. It's just there it is. About that this morning. Yes. The blue duck? Yes. Yeah. That's great. Oh, this is so fun. Thank you guys for giving us a look thank at how you. you do this. It is incredibly interesting. Yeah. I just love how unique it is. So thank, thank you. you so much. All the information right there on the screen if you want to check it out. And thank you both for just giving us a look at how you make it. Yeah. Thanks for playing. Thanks, guys. Congrats <laughs> on the new line. Love it. Coming up next, we're going to show you everything that you can do in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, Ooh. Missouri's wine country, and Michigan's Middle Coast, they call it. And we're going to introduce you to a local free healthcare clinic and find out how you can support their important local mission right after this. Stick around. This is so Thanks, fun. guys. Yeah. That was really fun. To the phone